sun Why don't you come out Why don't you feel good Yeah, you know you are too now You say that you love me But you're just too high There's much more to vampires than history books would have us believe. Sure, they commit regular acts of homicide and drink human blood, but are they really that evil? Or are they just misunderstood? Well, I mean, I it seems kind of natural to me. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, you're around a lot of blood. Um, I don't, I don't, it, it's it's sort of like, um, well, why would a guy who likes steak work on a ranch? You know, I, that seems callous, but and it is. In a way, I'm like natural selection. Stupid people, slow people. Uh, I, I don't mean like retarded. I mean like slow. Don't run fast. Avi shared a house with a small group of vampires whose lives we found were not all that different from our own. They paid their bills, watched TV, slept in beds. Well, most of them did anyway. Larry was a little different. I'm more of a traditionalist. I think that as vampires, we are part of a very uh, long-standing and noble uh, tradition, and uh, we have an obligation to honor um, our culture because we are a culture un unto ourselves. I've had a number of different careers over the years. Um, I was an, an assassin at one time for Queen Elizabeth of, of England. Uh, I traveled back and forth to uh, France a lot, a bodyguard in Japan. But uh, currently, I'm working as a representative or ambassador, if you will, for a rather uh, major hotel chain. But I don't think I'm going to be in that job for very much longer. Being a vampire, it's not really practical to stay in one job for more than about 10 years or so because we don't age visibly and it looks rather strange as you can imagine. Harpo. Harpo's the boss. Nobody understands him <laughs> or how he got to be how he is and everybody's got a story. And you know, there's the staked in the head theory, like you got hit in the head and Never quite got over it. And there's the, the, the story that he, he fell off a boat and walked ashore, but he picked the wrong shore. And he walked all the way to America. You know, in the old days, they used to say that uh, the crazy people were touched by God. They used to say they were touched. It's kind of it's like that with, with Harpo. There's something deeper going on with that guy. I don't know, he's a dark horse. He's the boss. He's just the boss, baby. Before he was a vampire, Henry was a surfer in the 1950s. It was only after he was turned that he realized the downside. You don't really understand this because you're not a vampire, but whenever we go out in the sun, we burn. I've been experimenting with going out in the daytime. What the? What? Hold on, 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 h
God. <laughs> I work at this 24 hour uh, tanning salon. I can only work the night shift. And that's sort of a trouble telling people why that you know I can only work nights because people are always calling me during the day and asking if I can cover their shift. And I can't because I'll burn. But maybe one day I won't burn and I'll be able to cover their shifts. A life without sunlight is only one downside for these creatures of the night. There's also the constant threat from people whose sole purpose is to eliminate their kind. Of course, the typical vampire hunter of today is quite different than what their legend suggests. We figure we're just, uh, we're just doing our part, you know, giving back to the, uh, the community. Yeah, I mean, where does city's last line of defense against the undead? To protect and serve. So how long have you been hunting vampires? Um, I'd say about what? It's two years, I think. Two, yeah, like two years. I mean, we've always had an interest in the subject, right? It was always that thing, like, like deep down, that we, we knew, we knew we had a purpose, but we didn't know what it was. And then one day it hit us, like, like a delayed blast fireball. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, you know, just one day it was just like, this is what we have to do. It's, it's a ride. It's an adventure. I tell you, buckle your seatbelt. Ready for one five leader. Come on, leader. Do you read? Yeah, I got you loud and clear, Ethan. Use the comm unit, Ricky. Got you loud and clear, Ethan. Thank you. So where are we headed? Well, vampire activity occurs primarily downtown, so uh, so we're headed straight to the heart of it. Hope you're ready for a wild night. See? Look at those spots over there. Oh, no, yeah, not, look, I'm right not there. paying for parking. What? It's five bucks. Do, do you have five bucks? Five bucks divided by uh, 50 cents a person, maybe? What? Let's go. Let's do this. 50 cents. 50 cents a person. Oh my you see God, 10 people Ricky. in this car? Do you see? I don't see 10 people in this car. Ricky, it's a place to park. We can get out. No, and it's, start the, it's the already. Yeah, it's we, the we, principle we of battle it. right now, but you know, yeah. you no, insist on driving see, around in circles. You think Batman had to pay to park the Batmobile. Why I don't think so. Are you bringing a Batman out of all? <sighs> Give me a uh, triple meat, triple cheese. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh, they got Raven. They got the Raven toy. They have Raven? Yeah. Sweet. Dude, 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 if, if we go halvesies, can I, can I keep Raven and dude. you can have the meal? Dude, dude you don't need a kid's meal. Hold on, shut up. Hello? Do you want to do that? Is that cool? 1658. All right, money. You always pay for me. I didn't know I was covering you. You always pay for me. I don't have the money. I've been, I've been taking off work to do this shit. Dude. Seth? Uh, I thought you guys were going to cover me. Dude, you fucking always pull this. Does anybody have any money? I have two dollars. What are we supposed to do? Let's, let's go. Just go. No, you can't just, just go. go. We just go. No, Dude, fucking... we're holding up people. Go. Don't. We don't have any money. I got two dollars, dude. I have one of the best jobs in the world. I mean, whenever a new comic or a new collectible comes out, who thinks the first to know? Huh? Yeah, my manager is, and then me. Which means I get first crack at anything. I mean, do you have any idea how long you have to wait just to get on the waiting list to get a job here? A long time. A long time. I just got lucky. And I think it's it's probably because I don't just work here. I'm also the number one customer. What do you think? <laughs> we uh, we run a pretty tight ship here. Meet meet down in the dungeon here, but uh, pretty much every night. Go hunting two or three times a week, and uh, the rest of the time we just do research or just you know chill out. <laughs> We get a lot of free pizza. Well, not, we don't get a lot of free pizza. Like I can just order, you know, go in there and order a bunch of pizza. There, there's a, you know, there's a lot of dudes that will, they'll call up and, and not want their pizzas. So they just give it to their employees instead of throwing it away. So I, I get a lot of, uh, you know, we'll get about, you know, two large pizzas a day. And like I, I get free ingredients, you know, lot, lots of garlic, lots of uh, stuff that we can use to make new weapons and stuff from work that I'm able to bring back. And, you know, uh, uh, Ethan is really good about uh, taking whatever I can get from work, either utensils, spatulas, uh, the the pans, the anything that I can get, and then make some really nice weapons out of them. So what are you working on now? Uh, well, uh, got this, the periscope monocle, which is basically a periscope lens fitted to an adjustable headband. 
And it allows one eye to see into the world of mirrors and one eye just use normally. And what is that supposed to do? Okay, well, vampires don't show up in mirrors, so you can use this to identify any uh, possible targets and confirm that they are, in fact, vampires. I, I don't, I don't want to sound contrived here, but, but Ethan is the bomb. I mean, this kid, do you have any idea what goes on the clockwork in his head? Uh, you know, I don't either. You know what? Personally, I don't want to know. I think that would spoil some of the magic. A sun gun? No, 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 tanning cream. Okay, see, because cause sunlight tans people, but, but it also kills vampires. So I, I figure whatever tans people should kill vampires. It's an interesting theory. Yeah, this is a tanning cream launcher. I call it the TCL 9000. Oh, Ethan's basically like that um, Asian guy from the Goonies, except he's Hispanic. Oh, he, he's swarthy. He's swarthy. I don't know what the hell he is, but um, one of those one of those mongrel races. But I like Seth. He's um um. I'm kind of the spiritual leader of the group, even though uh, I think religion is complete bullshit. Hmm. My goals in life are to help eradicate vampires, and well, basically, it's almost like a great scientist, you know. This is the great big wall of science, and I'm just adding my tiny little brick, you know. I mean, well, I mean, if I was a really good scientist, maybe I'd add a door or maybe an awning. What about Billy? Billy, uh, Bi Billy's one of those guys that you really need somebody that that will just blindly do whatever you tell them to do. And it's one of those things of, we're going to run into this house, but we know nothing about it. We don't know who's in there. We don't know, we don't know anything. Billy's one of those guys who can go, dude, go in there and bust up whatever you can find. And he'll just do it without any asking. And I have a lot of respect for that. The Hunter's daily routine included video game competitions, Star Trek marathons, and of course, vampire hunting. Hey, Ricky, can, can, can we get some food? No. Are you sure? Dude, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. I mean, these guys have been around for hundreds of years, so I mean, if they made right. the, yeah, so, you know, so you could leave, Vampires like, don't go to classy places, then, you know, they, they hop on skank. Oh. I, I think it's a gay bar. Oh, okay. That place! Dude! It's just metal. Yeah, yeah. Vampires like metal? Hey, I like King you're, Diamond, but I mean, you know, I'm not going to hang around pizza places no, all the time. You're just hungry. Right? You're just hungry, all right? Get off it. Oh, I mean, it's not It's not all just about, you know, going out and hunting vampires. I mean, you know, we kick back. I mean, we have a fun side, too. You know, we play D&D, &D, like, like three times a week. I'm going to, uh, I'm right here. I'm going to... Uh, to bypass the toad, and I'm going to walk. I'm, I'm going down this way. Yeah. I guess, skip. Okay, it's, it's not it's your my turn. Dude, it was my initiative. Right. Okay. okay, so so while he's sneaking, I'll, I'll go over here. I'm attacking him. D&D is a perfect vehicle to be able to sit down and train about what you're going to do in high stress situations. You don't, you, you know, we can't we can't plan stuff like that. Okay, you rolled a 20 on the spot check, so okay. So you're going to go ahead and open the chest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, glurf. Okay, so you go up to the chest Damn. and you open it. And the minute you open it, this 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 gas, this, this some sort of poisonous gas, just comes seeping out at you. But I rolled a twenty. Yeah, you roll you roll a twenty on your spot check. You, you didn't roll a search check. What? What's the same difference? I mean, come on. No, it's dude, dude. Spot checks are for creatures. Search checks are for traps. You know this. Uh, fuck. Fine. How much? How much damage? Uh, just nine. Just nine points of damage. Jesus too bad. Christ. Oh come on. And, uh, what are you going to, dude? And you've been polymorphed. <laughs> what? Uh, into a toad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fashion is uh, <clears throat> a very important part of vampire culture and the, the way that you carry yourself. Um, it can be difficult without the aid of a mirror. Does my tie look okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, thank you. Is that why you shave your head? Is that why I shave my head? Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, I shave my head. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I was gonna say that uh, because we can't use mirrors, some people use that as an excuse to uh, look slovenly. But as you can see, I don't, hey. I don't follow that philosophy. What? What's that supposed to mean? Where did you come from? I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, but you were referring to me. No, I wasn't referring to you. I would, yeah, did I say Avi? Did I say Avi looks like a piece of shit? No. I didn't Slowly. say that. I didn't, but you know, now that you mention it, you know, it wouldn't hurt okay, you to maybe right, go down to Brooks Brothers or something. That's enough. Okay.
I'm just saying, you know, you walked right into it, you know. I didn't ask you to walk. What? Hey, welcome home. How's it going? Uh, listen, okay, before you start freaking out. Oh, Jesus. It's, it's really what did you do? Well, nothing. nothing um, what? <laughs> Who are they? They're, well, these people are, okay, here's what, they're filming a documentary about, um. Werewolves. <laughs> No, no, they're not. They're not filming anything. Are you out of your bloody mind? Listen, man, okay? Darren, always, you always freak out on shit, and you never give nothing a chance. Listen, this, I, it's cool. I got this. You know, you can trust me for once. All right? No, I can't. Oh, fuck it. Look, we're going to work this out. You guys can come back tomorrow, I think okay? Let's go. Not. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I don't think they no, really should be back down. tomorrow, and I don't think they should be leaving now. Listen, Darren, it's all right, okay? I'll Look, explain I, it later. Abby, don't okay? let them leave. Just go, guys, go. Just listen, God damn it. Look. Abby neglected to mention the last vampire living in the house, the owner. By all accounts, Darren was the most responsible one of the group. He owned a number of successful businesses, including a local pool hall, a laundromat, and a popular downtown bar. It took Darren some time to be comfortable with the idea of his life being documented. Darren is, is constantly working. He's, he's, he's so busy. He has several businesses, and they're all over the world. And so he's always traveling. And when he's not traveling, when he's here, he's always working. He, uh, he's, he's a good guy. It's, when he is out of the house, you know, it's, it's, it's good because, well, well, I mean, I love the guy to death, but, but uh, he, he just nags incessantly that's the guy that's the guy we what? saw in the alley tonight no it's not dude i have an eidetic memory dude let, let me see it. Hold on. alleged no, I... vampire lorenzo de la ciscarenza and an unknown acquaintance that was him lorenzo? but I, i've totally never i've never heard of a lorenzo who's lorenzo who names themselves lorenzo he didn't name himself well, jackass can you Fuck look him up man. or something and find out more about him okay i'll do a search okay so all I'll right yeah. lorenzo See if we can pull by this guy so we can find out when. Uh, Siskar. Is Siskar. Okay, I know how to spell. All right. All right. This is huge, man. It's wait, wait, Maybe. it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Okay. There's nothing. Nothing? I'm not coming up with it. Like, like, what kind of nothing? What? How can we get. How can okay, we know? Yeah. Dude, dude, you didn't spell right. It's just nothing to worry about. It's just Siskar. I mean, CS. vampires. Yeah. Yeah, vampires are real tricky. You're real good about hiding their identity and hiding their locations and things of that nature. I mean, this guy's probably got. Probably got tens of Nothing? you know this pseudonyms and you know, but we have a picture. What and we have a picture and we have unnamed to go on. So really, you know, we, we we know what we're doing. Really, it's only a matter of time. I mean, give us go to a couple of weeks and we'll track these guys down. Vampires have always been here, since the beginning of time. I mean, when all those little critters were crawling out of the ocean, vampires were just sitting on the beach, kicking back, you know, having. Well, I guess they. I guess they couldn't be having blood if they were... They've been around for a long time, longer than we have. Well, Jesus Christ was the first vampire. Everybody knows that. It's a historical record. Really? Yeah. Drink of my blood and live forever. Consider that. You know, the Romans knew it all along. See, Jesus Christ had it coming, just like John Bonet. Well, we yeah, can go, because right here, right here is that pizza place we like. Oh, dude! So we can go here, we can and then we could stake him out through the window. I was thinking tacos. Here. We're uh, we're getting Seth. Well, well, we've been trying to get Seth to work on this new uh, website, but that's coming along a little slow. And you know, you know, just just getting out there in the community, just uh, just actively recruiting new volunteers into the into the vampire hunting community. Yes. Isn't that awesome? Oh, that is. Yes. We're we're working on a flyer to put out in the community to try to get some new members. We're gonna put this shit everywhere. No, 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 no. We gotta get one over to Sarah. Oh. Dude, you see the way she effed up the vampire? Dude, she gotta be in with that us. That was so bitchin'. <laughs> Sarah, the girl the hunters were referring to, seemed to be just a medical student who volunteered at a nearby hospital. The hunters claim they once saw Sarah fight off a dangerous vampire with her bare hands. And because of this one incident, they worshipped her as a true vampire hunter, something they all wished to become. But what they didn't know was that the fight they'd witnessed wasn't any battle for life and death, but simply a lover's spat between Sarah and her former boyfriend, Avi. I met Sarah a couple of years ago. We, we started out as friends, of course. We didn't start dating right away, but... Once we did, it was good. So what happened? You forgetting something? <laughs> I don't know. It's over. I, I, 
I can tell you that much. So do you always work this late? Avi got me kind of used to a night schedule. Actually, I don't mind it so much. It's a lot more hectic during the day, you know? Anyways, I don't think tonight's such a good night, especially with those guys hanging around. I'm sorry about that. No, it's not your fault. I mean, actually, it's kind of flattering. I'll take care <laughs> of it. Hi. Hey, guys. How's it going? Oh, good. good. Fun. Good. Fun. Good. 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 Well. Hey, hey. hey, Ethan. Looks like you got the whole game. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just out checking out the neighborhood, making sure that everything's okay. At five o'clock in the morning. Hey, what, what better time to be hunting vampires? Oh, and uh, just so you guys know, this area is completely clear. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? Hey, guys. So, uh, so what's going on? Uh, well, I figure we're, uh, you know, we're out. And hey, Sarah, I, I made you a steak. It's, it's quick. I figure we're, uh, it's about time to move on, as it were. Okay, well, you guys have a good night. Oh. We will. Bye! So where do you think they're going? God only knows. Chips are down, but you always draw the win in hand. Others will fall when their backs through the wall, but it's time for you to take command. Yours is the greatest story ever told. Don't settle for second best, reach out for the gold. Stand up tonight and fight for what is right. You're the winner, no compromise. You're the winner, your time to shine. Stand up tonight. Fight for what is right You're the winner No compromise You're the winner Your star is on the rise Setting the pace Winning the race Competition falling down Going the distance Isn't enough You know you gotta take this town Dance with the devil In the danger zone of justice will always walk alone stand up tonight and fight for what is right you're the winner no compromise you're the winner your time to shine So are you guys ever worried about vampire hunters? Hunters? No. There, there haven't been any real vampire hunters since, what, yeah, the Inquisition? Inquisition. Yeah, that, that was a fucking joke. <coughs> what about other vampires? Are there any famous vampires we might know? Uh, well, you know, the truth is, you're, you're, th you're thinking about, like, Lestat or Dracula, right? Sure. I hope I'm not disappointing you, but these guys are all fiction. Are you ready yet? Oh, hold on, man. All right. What about Vlad the Impaler? Who, Vladdy? Yeah, Vladdy's still around. He's, uh, he runs a little shish kebab joint downtown. It's not the same when we partake ourselves. The high isn't the same. So, in order to get a real good buzz on, 
you drink off of somebody who's fucked up, basically. Kyle, Kyle's a fucking pothead, and and he keeps his mouth shut. Those are the two basic requirements for the job. And basically, we buy him the good shit, and we get to drink off him. But that, yeah, that's why he's there. He's basically our fucking bong. Quiet, dude. <laughs> it's not funny. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Hey, do you guys have any money? Cause we could like, we could order a pizza with like ground Italian sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm a vampire. <laughs> you kind of give me a hard time about stuff, you know, being the new guy. I mean, I can't even see my reflection in the mirror. So I, I don't know if my hair looks good or if it looks terrible, you know, and and I've just kind of, I have to kind of feel, I just, I have to just kind of feel, and I, I, it doesn't, it doesn't typically work. I mean, what, what do you think? It's not bad. Yeah? You know, it's funny, because like, you know, back in college, you go to a bar to to drink in order to pick up girls, and and now we go to a bar to pick up girls in order to drink. <laughs> It's not about aggression, it's about charm. You know, salesman doesn't bully you into buying something. And I don't kill people, well I do, but I mean I don't, like, it's not in, a, in an aggressive way. I, I kill people in a much more <laughs> charming way. You charm somebody, at, you make them feel secure and safe and, 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 and they kind of want to be eaten, in a way.
I'm good to go. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Let me see your character sheets, please. Yeah. Alrighty. Seth, you got yours? Then. <laughs> what is this? Well, it's a new character for your approval. What? It's pretty cool, huh? You can't use this. Why? Oh, come on. Why can't I base a D&D &D character off of Sarah? I mean, come on. Out of all the people that we know, Sarah deserves to have a D&D &D character based off of her. I mean, God. Well, she didn't really... Dude, uh, look, she... All I did, I just took her, I just made her medieval and a cleric so she can cast some spells. That's it. I see that. What, then? Well, I'm not sure that... Billy! Not entirely... Fair I'm just... Enough. I'm gonna have to put my foot down. I, I'm afraid I can't allow you to use this. Why? Well, for starters, Ethan already has a druid named Sarah. She's an elf, too. D you bitch! Dude! Yeah, I, I, he, he beat you to it. I mean, just first come, first serve, I guess. Snooze, you lose. <sighs> okay. I expect this place to be exactly the same when I get back. Which means some ground rules. One, no drinking in the house. Two, no smoking. What about me? I mean, no cigarettes. Cool. No redecorating. No sunlight experiments. I would like everyone to be alive when I get back. And this is the most important one of all. No parties. What? Why are you looking at me? Darren, come on. <laughs> Am I really the kind of guy who Arby, has the foresight Arby, to Arby, plan Arby, something? Promise me. No parties in the house. Okay, fine. Watch out for these pricks. We will. Why is it I trust her more than I trust you? I don't know, man. You gotta go. Call me if you guys need anything. Bye, Harper. All right, all right. Okay. See you later. Have a good time. Oh. <laughs> so you guys are coming on Saturday, right? For what? To the big party. You know, the... Didn't Darren just say no parties at the house? It's not going to be here. Where's it going to be? Darren's bar. Yeah, I I'm working the door here. I've got like this feeling of power, you know? Like this authority figure kind of thing, which is really, really cool. Cool. Can we go in? Yeah, go in. Yeah, that's Thanks. fine. Oh, hey, Mike. Um, look, I'm not really supposed to let guys in, man. Uh, but you're so cool. Come on in, dude. Good to see ya. Where's everyone else? Uh, Avi, Avi and Larry are in the back, and Henry's not here yet, and uh, Harpo, he's around here somewhere. <laughs> you having a good time? Yes, yes. You look beautiful. Hey, there he is. You're welcome. Hey, Thank sunny boy. You, good man, good man. Mm, Thank you. Plenty more where that came from, so, you know, drink up. I can't believe these are free. Well, we have wealthy friends know, right? in high places. That we do. That we do, my friend. <laughs> are y'all drinking? Wow. Uh, no, we'll have our drinks in a little while. Yeah. Okay. Come on, bottoms up. I can drink. I'm gonna go check uh, on Greg's. Does anybody want anything? No, no, please. All right, okay. I'm good. Cock. All right, good.
don't look so good. Are you feeling all right? I think I drank a little too much. How much did you have to drink? Uh, a lot. Well, you know, <clears throat> we got a VIP room in the back. I, I could escort you if you wanted to get... I think I'm going to puke again. Oh, no. Don't do that. You just need to get up. Get the, get the blood circulated. <laughs> One foot in front of the other. Okay. And then, no, 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 no. Don't go that way. It's this way. Oh, yeah. All right? Right to that curtain. <laughs> I was just thinking I realized the last time I was at one of these kinds of parties it was 50 years ago in California and I was on the beach and there was a big bonfire and there was lots of people there and it was a really cool party except that the girls that I was with turned out to be these sadistic vampires who thought that it would be really funny to turn an innocent surfer guy like me into a vampire taking the sun away from him for the rest of his life just to make him cry. But it was a pretty often party, though. No, I'll, I'll admit that I don't have the following that I once did. I mean, of course, America isn't as <clears throat> sophisticated as the European countries. When I was in Paris, we used oh, to go... Oh, God. Here we go. Shut up. Stop it. When I was in Paris, uh, people knew the name of Lorenzo de la Ciscarenza. Men feared and respected me. Women were obsessed with me. No, no, I, they were it, laughing at you, Larry. They were laughing at you. Why do you do that? <sighs> okay, sorry, sorry. They, I'm sure your women loved you. No, why do you call me Larry? <laughs> because that's your name. Man. My name is Lorenzo. Okay, sure, Lorenzo. Whatever, whatever, Larry. Lorenzo, whatever, Larry. would it kill you? That's one thing when we're at the house. Uh, shouldn't one of you do something about that? No, no, we, we, uh, we, we let Harpo take care of the strays. Sorry for it being so late. The hospital was giving me crazy hours lately. Yeah, I'm actually surprised you still wanted to do this. No, no, it's, it's not a problem. I'm, I'm getting used to the late nights. <laughs> All right, um... Where's, um, Kate and Mike? Kate and Mike. Well, they, they, uh, they had another location that, uh, we had another shoot uh, tonight okay. uh, scheduled. Um, so, uh, first question, um, Sarah. Can you tell me a little bit more about your relationship with Avi? How did I know I was going to come back to that? Well, Sarah, these are questions Kate gave me. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, well, let's see. Um, well, first off, I didn't know he was a vampire when we first met. I mean, it's not like sucking blood is a big turn on for me. But um, eventually the truth came out and. You know, I mean, I tried to deal with it the best I could. It probably wasn't the best way, but um, everybody makes mistakes, you know. I guess I was just a little naive about the whole situation. I don't know, do we have to talk about Avi? Um, no. Uh, hey, hey, uh, don't worry about that. Um, never mind those guys. <laughs> uh, uh, go on, you were saying? Um, it's just kind of awkward, you know. Sure she doesn't hate you. 
yeah, you're sure she doesn't hate me. It doesn't matter. I mean, she may as well. She wants her distance, and I respect that, and I respect her and all that shit. And that, you know, maybe that's the fucking problem. Why? I hate people I respect. <laughs> I don't get along with him one little bit. Larry's my best friend, and he's a fucking douchebag. <laughs> I mean, what am I gonna do? I mean, just fuck it. Maybe I just, oh, fuck, I, I should just call her. You know, and just really, no, 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 definitely not. I fucking don't. Hey. Hey, Henry. Hey. hey. What are you out of here? Yeah. It's time for me to go home. <laughs> okay. All right. Get some sleep, buddy. I will. Thanks. I guess we'll see you at the house then. Hey Whoa, guys. What's up, sport? We're gonna do another shot in like five minutes. So like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is there actually, are there any girls left? Uh, somebody said something about Harpo put one on the cooler or something. Oh, super. Okay. Hey, Larry! <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's a little ball of fire, that way. <laughs> uh, do you still keep in touch with Avi? Um, well, I try not Who's to. Who's Avi? What? Fuck up! Look. What are you doing? Sorry. Just a second, okay? I'll take care of this. As much time as you need. No, thanks. Oh, hey. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's not too much to finish, huh? Just a second. No, we're actually quite comfortable in here. Yeah, yeah, I think you might be. Come on. Hey, sir. Hello. Now is not a good time. Are you drunk? No. No, after this, I just want to go home. Talking to. Shh. So you be talking. I mean, shh. Shh. Just look, dude. Just look. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I didn't think there was gonna be a problem. I mean, Ricky. we're out all night, this, all night hunting expedition, and we thought we'd, you know, just come here, you know, get some coffee. Ricky. And stay yeah, on right. Toes. Okay. I just don't need any of your bullshit right now. Okay. 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 You want to know the truth? Truth is, and this is totally true. This truth. Um, it was all. It was all Andrew's idea. What? Truthfully. It was. It's all my fault? Yeah, well, it was your idea. Yeah. I mean, hey, 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 he's the one that stole your appointment book to tell us that she was going to be here. Oh, it's, it's because you paid me five bucks to do it. You, you stole my up? appointment book? Oh, hey, hey, borrow it. Borrow it. See? Now you got it. No harm. No harm. It's cool. Wait, where'd you get five bucks? Dude, for an appointment book? You stole me hey, five dude, bucks. Dude, and you stole me five sleeping. bucks. She's leaving. She's leaving. What? I bet she's gonna go kill vampires. Dude, dude she's her. not gonna kill her. No, that's not a good idea. No, 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 let's what? go, let's go. Why is that not a good idea? Yeah, do we talk I can take out new inventions. We can just follow her around all night? Of course Ooh, we can. Um, that's because you're a pussy. Yeah, thank you, thank let's you. Go. Let's on. go, let's go, let's go. Excuse us. Wait, hey, hey, we're following her. I just thought of something. What, what are we gonna do once we get to where she's going? Oh. Yeah, we'll cross that bridge we can. Can we stop for food? No. We, no. Hey, she's going to that bar. Yeah, I can see that. Hey, what hey. What the fuck is she getting in there? Did you ever wonder what kind of vampires go into bars like that? You know? Hey, have you guys ever considered that maybe she's not hunting vampires? Maybe she just wants a drink. Do she... Uh, a place like that, dude. All right, everybody, listen up. Yeah? We're going in. Dude. You're fucking hopeless, man. Fuck you, dude. That was a pretty good dive. You got it in there. Fucking loser. Oh, shit. Sarah. Hey. Oh, wow, man. Hey, what are you doing? I don't want to hear it, Avi. Um, okay. Uh, okay, this is, I can just I'm not having this. this conversation in front of them, Avi. 
Right, of course, of course, of course. Outside. C come on, just hear me out, okay? It's more complicated than you. You know, you called me down here. I mean... I can't let you in, guys. Why, yeah. what? Um... No, look, guys, uh, I can't, I can't let you in because all, uh... It's we're closed now. What? Right. Dude, what no, do we have what? to do to get in there? We have to go in there. Look, is, is there a cover charge or something? No. It, yeah, the, the. yeah, there is definitely a cover charge. There's a charge, cover and charge. I cannot let you I'm in fine. unless you pay the cover. And we the have to pay the cover to get in. Five bucks. Five bucks? You win. What's the pig tail? A piece? A person? Well, well, that doesn't sound like so much. Dude, there's five of us. That's 25 well, bucks. Me you're pay I'm paying for you. Is that what you're asking? Andrew, give them the money. Me? I mean, I work all day. What you expect? That's all that I have, Ricky. I don't have any money. I took off work for the cause, God man. Damn. Fine. It's all that I have. All right, Are we fine? Back. Okay. Let's go, guys. To be a part of your life, you know. <laughs> give it a rest, Avi. No, I don't want to give that. it a rest. Of course, I fucking mean it, man. Look, I see you all the time. Well, not all the time, but I see you. And all I ever see when I see you is, thanks for the fucking present, Avi. Bye. You know? You know, I used to mean more to you than that. Now I'm a, your fucking ATM. You know? Oh, huh? right. Is that how you feel? That's what it feels like. You, you know, know what? I used to, you used to talk Avi, to me. Avi, just go home, okay? The sun's about to come up anyways. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike! Sarah! Dude, where is everybody? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, dude, this is this is just like when you were third level and all those rocks were hiding behind the bar. Uh, I already checked. I'm gonna go check and see if there's any drinks left. Does anybody want anything? I'll take a mud slide. Shut up. Mm. I don't like you right now. Right back. Okay, what, what do we do? I don't know. Ricky, what do you mean you don't know? I don't know, Ricky. Hey, I got an idea. Let's get out of here. Come on, No, Ricky. no, no way, man. We have come this far. We're not turning back now. Ricky, listen, you don't know what's going on. Let, let's just get out of here. No, just really freaking we'll, out. We'll be okay. Ricky, we just gotta... Ricky, I really don't want to go through... Oh, oh shit. Has anybody seen Kyle? Hey, Kyle! Ricky, who is this? I don't know. Avi, oh, where's Kyle? What's going on? I don't know. Hey, um, sir? Hey! Gosh, man! Holy I shit, he's the fair boy! Billy, get back here! Billy! Quit yelling! Billy, get back! Oh, fuck, you... Ricky! Go, oh, what do we down. do? Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Fuck, man, it's not working. Stakes! 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 Sarah. Larry. What? Be cool. Avi, I didn't do anything, okay? Right. I came in here because I was looking for Kyle, and these okay. guys sprayed this shit all over me, and they tried to stab okay. me with sticks, and okay. they got us. Okay. Look at Larry. me. Larry. She's fucking yelling. Larry, take a breath. Larry. <laughs> you cool? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Hey, Larry. You can let go of the kid now. Avi, I didn't do anything. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Time to go. What's going on, guys? Thomas! More hey. people! Thomas, get your ass over here! Oh. Come on! Ah. Help me out! Oh my god! Does it hurt? Grab it off! I'm gonna kill him! I'm gonna kill him! I know, I know. Oh. I know, but you oh. have to wait, okay? <laughs> yes! Oh, dude, 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 dude. Oh, did you see that? Did you guys see the way I snaked the fuck out of that vampire? Yeah, that 
was, oh, and I shot my cream all over his face. Yes! <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. There's compelling evidence here that uh, our friend Ricky's been turned. What, what are you, you talking about? Very how? Get off, dude. You've got blood on your mouth. He stabbed a vampire in the chest, dude. Yeah, the Drink you of my blood and live forever. That's just what Jesus said. Right? That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You have to be dead and completely drained, and then ingest vampire blood. No, 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 no. You have to get bitten. No, and, no, no, and, no. and if they stuck your yeah, blood, yeah, th too. then you become a vampire. No, 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 no. It's not. No, no, no. You have to be no, dead. No, you no, have no. to be dead. It's, Stop arguing dead. different schools here. All right. Dude, I'm dude. not a fucking vampire. Look, no fangs. It's just Ricky. Yeah, this guy dude. can go from zero to bloodthirsty. And it's Ricky. <laughs> Ow! What the fuck? You just dropped me. What am I? Oh! How old am I? <laughs> hey, Mike, we close the door for me. Sun's Will you coming out. Uh, yeah, sure. Stake out, please. Mm. Oh, <laughs> just... <laughs> uh. You ready? Mm, yeah. Hey, what, what you, you sure? I'm fucking sure. Look at me. What the fuck? Just get it. I thought steaks through the heart kill vampires. Yeah, well, they, yeah, they do. But the thing is, they didn't. They missed his heart. See, people, it's a common misconception. The heart's actually not on the left side of the chest. It's actually in the center. But you feel the heartbeat more on the left. Cause Excuse me. A little less bullshit, please. I'm fucking, okay. I'm fucking dying here. You're giving right. him a. a, a Anatomy lesson! Okay, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous! Dude, 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 dude. I mean, what the fuck? We just had our first major victory against the vampires, now we're fighting know, amongst I know, ourselves? I know, I know, I know. But see what, what they want us to do? Fucking divide and conquer, man. That's been their strategy dude. the entire time. But I know, I know, I know. What the hell is this all about? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I... I, I know I tend to jump to conclusions maybe a little too quickly, but um, uh, you're all right with me. See? Everything's cool, dude. Thanks for watching our backs. Everything's fine. Everything. Well, it's important, See? you know, somebody's going to do that. Just watch that trigger finger. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm just fucking I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Not now, not now. Chill. Chill. Asshole. Okay. <laughs> Hey, hey, Henry. Can you guys keep it down? Yeah, sorry. Very good state. Oh, that's right on. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. All right, all right, all right. All right. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, Larry. Larry. Larry's trying to sleep. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Hey, hey, right. hey. You have a good one. Asshole. <laughs> Dude. Man. Why do you be like that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I thought it was fun. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, what can I say? Uh, we really should leave now. Why? Hey. What's, what's wrong with you anyway? Just, just trust me. We. I want to get out of here. Huh. You're right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, nothing's wrong, just, we, we've had our fun, and, and now we should, we should be on our way. Hey, can't you let me finish my beer first? Jesus. We just started, dude. Just, uh, uh, give it, give us five minutes. Five minutes, we're out of here. What? Get hey. your shit, let's Jesus. go. Did you pay? Never mind. You wanna get that fucking thing out? <clears throat> wanna get it out? <laughs> 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 Right. Mike, Mike, you're gonna wanna back up. Well, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm used to stuff like this. No, 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 no. You, you don't understand. If any of his blood gets in your mouth, you're gonna be a vampire. I'm not kidding. Alright. One. Two. Hey, do you guys want some grub or something? <laughs> Three. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to bed. Good night. Thank you.
Ricky? I think Ricky exploded. I told you he was a vampire. But dude, shut up! Does anybody see the keys? I mean, right now, people don't understand that all this is going on, right? People are totally oblivious to all this. But, you know, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week or next month or next year. But at some point, people are going to walk down the street and, say, and see the vampires. You know, they're going to they're gonna start pointing them out and they're going to start taking action because of us. And with this, you know, people are going to be able to look back and say, where did it all start? It all started with Ricky in this comic book store. I met Ricky 15 years ago, and for 15 years, he's never changed. <laughs> Ricky was the best dungeon master that anyone ever could have asked for. <laughs> he's a brave hunter and my best friend. Ricky gave his life in the line of duty and, and, and for what for for us and for humanity uh, um, I found this in um, a box of some of his stuff over at my place um, it's the last quest that he was working on it reads The group will enter the room from the east. It is a large room, 20 foot by 35 foot. 14 foot ceilings and four pillars in the center. The walls and the pillars are covered with a green moss. On the north wall, it, it is stained. It's stained with blood. In the center of the four pillars is a chest. It's locked. DC 25. <laughs> Inside the chest. That's all he had. We will never know what Ricky would have put in that chest. <laughs> Who knows? It, it could have been some magical healing potions is something that we all could use from time to time but now he, now he's up in that big blue castle saying please please don't cry for me i knew the risk involved ricky today we say goodbye to you today we shoot your ashes up into the sky into the far reaches of space Out of all the souls I've encountered throughout my travels, his was the most human. Ethan comes out of the cave first, followed by Seth. Uh, you hear a um, loud, thunderous roar up above your head. All right, I look up. You, you, you look up and you see a um, elder red dragon coming down from the top of the uh, from the top of the mountain, coming down right at you guys. You're kidding, right? 
What? No. Oh. A, a red dragon? Yes, a red dragon. After all the stuff we just went through in the caves, after that huge fight with the beholders when we're so down on hit points and spells, anything could take us out. And you're throwing a dragon at us? It's in the quest, dude. Ricky wouldn't I have did. done that. This game sucks, man. Bill mm. These are my trees, too. When you are never gonna die, at least in my case, you get really bored with uh, plans, thoughts, philosophies, ideas of the future, uh, rom romance. And I mean, not entirely, but you know, by and large, it's like, what do, you, what do you look forward to when you can really afford to wait forever for whatever you want? Something I kind of envy in people is there's a there's an immediacy in a, and there's there's something important about life when you only have so much of it. When you live forever, you have none of that incentive. If, if nothing, if, living without fear is an amazing, an amazing blow to interest. Watch the lepers, they creep up on well you. Well done, old man. Old man. Did he just call you old man? Yeah. He's not that old. He just called me a leper. <laughs> no, that, we do look a bit peaky. What's that? Oh, Drop a holy water for kick. <laughs> I want some. You're so foolish. Maybe when you're older. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see you guys drinking any. And uh, I'm out of money, so I'm gonna go get some more. And I'm not gonna take credit cards either. Did I wanna try something? Yep. Check his shit. Holy water. Let me show you something. It's complete it's fucking bullshit, kid. He's so That's dramatic. Not. Everything's gonna be so over the top with him. Kid, he's completely fucking full of shit. He's not just. Oh, or he's gonna, he's gonna. <laughs> yeah, I make fake bills in my bedroom there. And... What'd you guys do? Oh, Henry accidentally touched your holder one. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry it, with the bandage. Thomas, have you found a job yet? Uh, 
up. No, no, I'm still looking. Yeah, well, don't be like this prick here. 500 years, and he lives paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your tooth? A metal fucking collar. That's what it was. That kid was wearing a metal collar. <coughs> I haven't even thought about that since a that metal, night. Are you serious? <coughs> I'm so drunk. I couldn't even. <laughs> a metal collar. What kids? Oh, there were these kids, and they were, they were just doing this. Uh, what is Bobby, street theater? What is he? It was a. It, it, look, there were these kids. You thought it would be pretty funny to. Stick a stake in Larry, that's all. And it's, what? It actually was kind of funny, Wait, though. When did this happen? Uh, actually, oh, if you'd have been there, it where? was... Uh, uh huh? What? Where? The bar. A bar? <laughs> a bar? A, a bar. My bar? A, a, a bar. bar. Did this happen when I was out of town? Um, uh, well, was it? Uh, yeah. What did I tell you about having parties? You, you said no parties in the house. Oh, shut you it! You did. You did. <clears throat> Well, we're gonna take care of this. Okay. Right now, Avi. Wait, tonight? Right now? Yes, Avi, right now. You know why? So that I don't have to take care of this problem later. Oh, are you kid? Oh, come on, Dad. It's nothing, Darren. It's, it's just a bunch of kids. So where are they? Where do they live? I saw some of their flyers downtown. <sighs> they have flyers? Look. Maybe Abby's right. Maybe you should just think no, about it. No, I don't it. want to hear from you. In fact, I think you had something to do with this. We... No, shut up! The game is over. Everyone up. What We're leaving look, now. Look at my chips. No, we're not... No, sit down. We are not ending this game. No, the game is over, Ovi. Because you're losing. Well, if we're going to go after these guys, I'm going to go change because oh, I'm not going to kill people dressed like this. Fucking below you, Darren. As soon as I get a fucking chip lead, now we got to all of a sudden go on a fucking No, no, no this has nothing to do with the game, Ovi. I'm not fucking going anyway. This is your fault, Ovi. You're going. No, you sit, you stay, you're going, and that's it. Hey, no, hey, hey! God damn it. Wait a fucking minute. Larry, hurry up! Where's Mike? I don't know. He said something about getting a battery. <sighs> Perfect. The vampires are heading over to your house. You guys have to leave. Okay. Just trust me uh, on this. Uh, you know, we're right in the middle of the game. You know, this is the worst possible time for you to call us. Hey, Larry, hurry it up for fuck's sake. I'm hurrying. Fuck off. This is important. How do I look? Like Peter Murphy's furniture. Thank you. Can we go, please? Thomas, stay here. Harpo. Well, oh, I guess you're coming after all. Yeah, right. Okay. There's no backing out. Let's go. Oh, now, what are you talking about? Okay. They're all on their way over here right now. What do you want us to do about it? I say we fight. I say we take him down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck my mom. Is she here? No, she's in Mexico with her boyfriend. Okay. Uh, okay, so I don't think we should sit around here. They're gonna be here any second. Uh, you know, I wish you'd stop lying for five seconds. Excuse me? You're fucking with us. The vampires aren't on their way over here. They don't even know where we live. Huh. It's right here on the left at, at this next light. What? It's a shortcut. It'd take way too much time to be going all the way okay, across. I need you to listen to me right now. They're on the way over here. They're gonna be here any second, and when they get here, they'll kill us all. Well, why don't you just call the cops? Well, because if I call the cops, they're not gonna believe me when I say that vampires are coming to kill a bunch of D&D &D gamers. What the hell does this have to do with D&D? &D? Mike, we don't believe you. You know, go ahead and spread your stupid propaganda to somebody else, but I mean, we're a little smarter than that. We, 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 we don't buy everything that we hear. Yes, thank you. You, you. you know what, guys? I'm with Ethan on this one. We should stay here and fight. You know what? We've been prepared for this our entire lives. The second those bastards bust in through that door, they're going to dose us something that they never expected. Andrew, 
You have no idea what you're talking about. What? I... This is not one of those situations in which the little guy wins the fight. We've been prepared okay? for it all. Our... They are gonna be here any second. Did he just ring the fucking doorbell? I should have worn my cloak. Oh, shut it, you tit. Uh, uh, guys, go, uh, uh, positions, positions, right, uh, right. grab a steak. Steak, steak, Seth, go. You got that, uh, Billy, get something. <laughs> Seth, steak, position. Please. This is it. Please. This is it. I didn't get anything. Dude, 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 take this. It's got holy water in it. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna fucking get into this thing. Okay. How should I put this? All right, which one of you fuckers shot shit all over me? Larry! I'm gonna fuck... A bit of patience, please. You know, I, I should warn all of you. Th th this is filled up with holy water. Yeah, unless you guys don't want to end up to be a, a bubbling pile of ooze on the ground, I suggest you guys leave right now. Oh, I don't think we're going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must be the boys who like to take vampires. What, do you think you're a real threat to us? You're nothing but a hassle. Can we just get this over with? Look, guys, you don't have to do this. Avi. Darren, look at these kids. They're harmless. I'm sure they'll never do this again. <clears throat> As I was saying, you had to see this coming. I mean, what did you think? That we were just gonna let you run around and try to stab at us with wooden sticks? Or you Fuck you, devils! Just Fuck you! Look at the formidable it's vampire. It's horrible. It's holy water. water. It's Fuck not this. even holy water. God, you're stupid. Get the fuck up, you fucking child. Am I burned? Tell me you're not burned. Does my shirt look okay? You sure looks fine. You're not burned. It's fucking tap water. Just get up. Seth. Jesus. Seth. Right. Oh shit! You're still here. Hey. The power of Christ compels oh, you! For God's sakes. The Are power of Christ compels you! Give me that. Uh, Let me show you something. You see this? Uh, That's right. I'm a Jew, motherfucker. What do you think this means? I swear to God, there's always got to be some dipshit who thinks this actually matters to me. Man, it never fucking ends. You know, this is insulting. And it's anti-Semitic. You know, you should do me a favor, all right? Keep your religion to yourself. Uh, woo. I felt good. I mean, it's never gonna fucking end with these people, you know what I mean? You! Oh, God! You little shit, you! That's a little shit! Oh, you're so gonna pay! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Oh, what are you reaching for? You want your toy? Oh, you want your toy? I'll give you your fucking toy! How does it feel? Do you know who I am? I feel no mortal! How do you like it? How do you like it? Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Relax. It's gonna be all right. I'm not gonna hurt you. Okay? Jesus. Look, we're not gonna kill the kids, okay? We're just... We're just trying to scare them. We want to put them off this hunting vampire shit for good. All right, Darren's freaked out about the staking thing he's done. But what about, and, Darren said you were gonna kill everybody. Yeah, 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 we said a lot of fucked up shit, but you know, we gotta put an act on, you know? 
What about Mike and Ian? I just love Mike them. and Ian are fine. They're fine. It's, it's okay. I'll take care of all of that. But what I'm trying to say is, the movie's done. You need to take what you got, whatever you need, and just disappear. You know what I'm saying? Okay? Good luck and all that. And then... Yeah. Hey, hey, I'll see you. Avi once said that vampires may be killers, but they're not sadists. That might not be entirely true, but the hunters seem grateful to be alive, injuries and all. We lost touch some time after their recovery. What we didn't realize is that we weren't the only ones documenting the hunter's story. So is that your role in the group to be the spotter? Is it, is it macabre or something? Is it macabre. Bru, bru. There's an R in there, but you didn't ever really say it. It's French. Yeah. Do you have any French in it? No. Okay. What are your goals in life? Mm. Oh, three kids, white picket fence, walls that bleed when I tell them to. You know, when you see Ricky, you know, flapping his jar, waving his dick in the air, you know, it's really me pulling those strings, you know. Not, not like strings attached to his dick or anything, but I'm mixing metaphors here, but you get the idea. Are you very familiar with cryptozoology? No. Yeah, it's for real. The jackalope, that's not for real, but werebears, maybe. Have you ever been to Seattle? No. Yeah, I haven't either. Seattle has the highest suicide rate in the whole country. Did you know that? And they say that it's because of all the rain and the lack of sunlight. So, you know, I guess that being a vampire is like living in Seattle all the time. It's just a matter of a low profile. I can't be eaten off of patience. Cause that shit, somebody's gonna fucking notice. A guy doesn't have blunt force trauma and a bite wound. Well, I mean, unless he already has a, well, but I wouldn't, the point is, I can't. I don't. Unless they're dead. In which case, you know, they're, they're dead, you know. I mean... So in, a, in some vampire movies, if, if they took blood from a dead... Dracula with Bela Lugosi. That man was a traditionalist. In every sense of the word. He wasn't even a vampire. I don't know what his sources were, but he was dead on. I mean, you wake up in the morning, you know, you open your eyes and there's Harpo. And he's staring at you. And he's, he's got a dead cat hanging out of his mouth. And then he's just like, Rawr. and you're like, hey Harpo, what? It's weird.
I'm okay. Ha <laughs> <laughs>